which you guys got a quick review on the SMD rework station that you can purchase on eBay. It's a must have tool for any PC tech that does a lot of uh, rework and uh, soldering work on motherboards and laptops and stuff like that. Here we have the uh, manual here. It's a pretty thin manual, not much in it, but it just tells you all the specifications to, to what that actual unit can run at and what it can do. As you can see there, 700 watt power consumption and uh, it also has a brushless fan inside the wand and runs at a minimum of 100 to 480 C, uh, which is Celsius, I think. And uh, we've got an LED screen display. So let's uh, pull out some components inside it. We've got a, a power adapter there for the plug. Also, some other bits here, some uh, desoldering wick and an end piece for a soldering iron. There's loads more inside the box. They must have fell out. Um, but yeah, it comes with uh, Heiko soldering tips in this one. Let's just pull out this box. Inside here, we have the end pieces for the actual wand there, which will give you different sizes of diameter for work that you've got in a spanner. Uh, for the actual unit as well so these will be useful for smaller to larger work when using the uh, wand so let's uh, try to get this unit out we might need to get this box out first and inside here we have the soldering station for the uh, the docking station for the soldering iron and it's pretty well built it's not a real flimsy piece of kit it's not too bad and it comes with a sponge for inside there as well which I'll show you a bit later on. So let's take a look at the actual rework station itself. It's a very small rework station, but don't underestimate its power. It's going to save you a lot of time when uh, you're busy, especially if you're working on a lot of uh, rework stuff and soldering. Now, bear in mind, you will need a bit of space at the back of the wand when it's cooling down, otherwise it could burn stuff. So let's turn the unit around. As you can see here, there's many different brands of these, uh, but I'm assured that this is one of the better ones. And it's definitely one of the higher models, 898D+. And there's the actual 10 tips that come with it. Now, these are easily purchased on the internet, and uh, Heiko tips will fit on these. And there's different types of tips there, chisel tips and all sorts of different tips that you've got. Okay. So as I said, you can purchase new ones of these. Let's have a look at the actual soldering iron itself here. And soldering iron is got a nice feel to it. I mean, it's not going to replace any sort of Metcal or uh, Pace or anything like that. But I mean, it seems to do the job well. It's the 907 there, and I think the better they are, the higher the model, the better they are. And there's the actual sponge that comes with it, and you just add a bit of water to that, and it sort of puffs up a little bit. And that will go into your uh, soldering iron uh, docking station there. Let's take a look at the actual element inside here and where you change your tips. You just unscrew these, take out on the outer sheath and uh, there's the actual tip there. You just change it and there's the element inside. You can get these as well on the internet. You just screw that back on. Pretty straightforward stuff. And just put that back into its little station there now if you want to have a look at these I'm going to switch this on and we'll have a look at some of the features so there's the actual one there you just push the enter button and then select up and down for the temperature level that you want and then push enter and enter and that will set that to 200 and then pick up your wand and straight away it will start to climb to 200 and give you that temperature okay so whatever temperature you set it at, it will be stuck at that temperature. And when you stick that back into the actual dock there, it will shut down. But the uh, temperature will shut down slowly, but the fan will still be running, okay, until it cools down to a safe level. And this normally happens at about 100 uh, Celsius. And there's the fan uh, dial there for the amount of air you want running through your wand. Um, so you can turn it up or down and once it gets to 100 it will actually switch off so you can run these both side by side if you want you can make different temperature sets for the soldering iron and the wand itself and you just push the up and down arrows there to set whatever level you want 
as you can see this is going to go up to 300 and you can see it's climbing up pretty rapid there and uh, that element will be at 300 celsius so pretty straightforward pretty easy to do it's a nice little unit so i hope you enjoy these videos my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys hit that subscribe button and share support by rating and favoring all my videos and i'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching bye for now